we are finding a solution to one of fusion energy's big challenges. Fusion is the process that happens in the sun, where light elements fuse together to release energy and create larger elements. We're trying to recreate this process on Earth to make a low-carbon energy source for humankind. We know it works because it already powers the stars. If we can capture that energy, we can turn it into electricity. In order to create fusion on Earth, we need to get to such high temperatures that the only state of matter we can use is plasma. This is the fourth state of matter beyond gas. So if you heat a solid, it becomes a liquid. Heat a liquid, it becomes a gas. If you heat a gas, it will become a plasma. The sun uses gravity to hold the plasma together and create fusion reactions. On Earth, we can't do that. So we use a device called a tokamak, which uses magnetic fields to essentially hold the plasma in a magnetic bottle. Our understanding of tokamaks is so advanced that Power plants are now being designed around the world based on them. One of the main challenges with designing a tokamak is how to deal with exhausting the heat from the core plasma, which is hotter than the sun, before it reaches any material surfaces, otherwise they'll get destroyed. So just like in a car, you have an exhaust that takes the hot gases away from the engine. You want to do the same thing in a tokamak. You want to take those hot gases away from the core of the plasma and vent them out to the edge of the device. The best way of handling the heat that escapes from the plasma is to steer it using magnetic fields onto special surfaces called the diverter. We divert the plasma. A conventional diverter is close to the core plasma, which doesn't allow for very much cooling before it reaches the surface. This means that the surfaces don't survive as long and they'll degrade quicker. The exhaust problem is an issue that we need to deal with for any future power plant. You need to have the minimum amount of downtime for maintenance. You need the material surfaces inside that tokamak to last as long as possible. And so we have to reduce the amount of heat that's traveling along the exhaust system. Here at the UK Atomic Energy Authority, in a device called Mast Upgrade, we have designed and built a solution to this problem called the Super X Diverter. The Super X Diverter at Mast Upgrade allows us to cool that plasma down before it reaches the tiles inside the machine and causes damage on them. We make the plasma travel large distances before it arrives at material surfaces. And by the time it has arrived there, it has cooled sufficiently that it doesn't damage those surfaces. And it's like making the exhaust pipe of your car longer. You've got more space for those gases to cool down before they emerge out of the back of the car. And also that chamber allows us to inject gas inside which cools the plasma down further just like adding ice to water and both of those things lead to a lower temperature of the plasma arriving at the tiles more efficient than a conventional diverter. We've just performed the first experiments in the SuperX diverter and compared to a standard diverter the heat has been reduced 10 times. If the Super X diverter can really reduce heat loads as we are seeing, it's like a game changer. If we were to put Super X inside a power plant, we'd then get lower temperatures inside the surfaces of the machine, which would mean we'd have to replace them less often. And that will give us a more efficient plant that produced cheaper electricity. A much more feasible option for energy production and much more economical. This is really important because we are bringing fusion energy one step closer. It's really exciting seeing the results coming out of Mast Upgrade, proving what we were hoping from the design. Getting these results makes you feel like seeing fusion energy on the grid is a real possibility.